first of all, congratulations. Five seasons for you, five straight playoffs. Uh, to also clinch tonight against your former team, I'm sure you're feeling feeling pretty good right now. Um, just go through the emotions that you're having, knowing that you're going into postseason, but also doing it with a, a dominating win against Dallas tonight. Well, thank you, Jackie. Uh, um, we're so excited, and we have a lot of gratitude with the club, with the fans that has supported us this year. Then uh, one more time, we qualify for the playoffs. As a credit for the, that group of players that had a big heart, and uh, a big love for the club too, and a lot of uh, passion for what they do. So I'm very happy. It's in a special night today, uh, coming here to Dallas in a very difficult uh, city to play against. And and we won, scored three goals. I thought we played an excellent 75 minutes. And um, the reaction of Dallas in the last part was uh, very good as well, a complicated game. But we finally uh, clinch, and uh, that was the first objective, and, and we're we're happy. We're gonna open things up with Michael Citro. Oscar, congratulations on making the playoffs again, and uh, the victory tonight. That's uh, Orlando's first road victory in Dallas, so you got to go and beat your old team. Um, you had a very good game plan coming out and in, in the team did a good job of, of implementing it in the first half. You guys had more than 60% of the possession. What was the, what was the idea coming in? Uh, this is not what we're used to seeing from Orlando on the road. Usually it's more reactive and more counterattacking than it was tonight. Well, I've seen, uh, I thought it was a, um, a clear idea that we had with the players during the week after our gaming in Columbus, that uh, we wanted to have uh, more domination of the wall and more compromise and trying to look for the spaces with personality. That was our compromise uh, with uh, the players. And I think that is what I saw on the pitch. Uh, I saw them all moving everywhere and providing support to their teammates when they have the wall. Our line of passing was very correct the occupation of the spaces as well. So we had a very complete health. In the second half, we have uh, periods where uh, we chose the same and we could probably score the four goal. Um, but at the end, uh, we start defending low. We lost control of the ball and Dallas push, send numbers and uh, complicate those last 15 minutes. Uh, credit to them too. I thought uh, that they did a good job in that part. But once again, we're happy. The game plan worked, and uh, the boys clinched. And congratulations to everybody who's involved in our club and the fans. We're gonna go to Mike Ramaho. Thank you, Jackie. Uh, Profe, uh, congratulations on on the victory tonight and um, making the playoffs for a fifth consecutive year. Um, I wanted to ask you. Obviously, you guys started the season pretty pretty slow, and then all of a sudden this summer, things just turned around um, in, in all aspects. The team started scoring, started dominating the games, controlling the games. I, I, I'm just kind of curious, what were you able, where in this season were you able to kind of tell your players or, or in a way kind of inspire your players to kind of turn things around? To, to, to basically put you guys where you're at today. Was there an exact moment sometime this year where you and your players basically got together and um, basically were able to turn things around? Right, yeah, I will remark two things. Uh, the first one is, uh, and I know it's, it's not natural that we forgot, but in the first semester, we had a lot of challenges completing uh, the lineups just due to uh, absences in the Copa America and the Eurocopa and the qualifications uh, for uh, the, the World Cup, the calls ups, and we have a few players that are very important for us right now that were in a, in that period of adaptation. I recognize too that I was looking uh, for uh, the best formation, and and sometimes that probably didn't help us. But all those things made us not to get the best of the results, uh, despite that we really play well many of those games that we we didn't win. Um, but uh, now we have found the cohesiveness and uh, the connections again. 
I think the endurance that the boys had during the year is uh, uh, for us an honor to see. I think the heart that they put for this club is is great, and uh, they have transformed them again this season. So we haven't done yet. Uh, we we still have a journey to um, navigate. The boys are in a good mentality. Today we're going to celebrate that the team qualify one more time and then try to qualify in the best position and the standings. So that will be the next objective. We'll go over to Austin. Oscar, five years now with you at the helm, five years clinching playoffs. Players have come and gone. A lot of mainstays. We just talking to Rodrigo. Just, uh, he's been here since the very beginning. But from your perspective, what has been a consistent for you as a coach that has helped you make playoffs every year that you have been here? Uh, working with uh, the responsibility and the respect that we have for our fans and the club, all the people who work around us, uh, they inspire us to push. And uh, the results when you do all those things normally are uh, good. Uh, the other part is that we were uh, a team uh, who overcome a lot of difficulties. And probably that's one of the things that we install in this uh, uh, period. Uh, we don't give up, we push. And at this moment, Orlando City is that one. That culture that represent our our city and that represent our culture. We're gonna go back to Michael. Oscar, what's it? It's a good problem to have, but uh, what's it like for you with uh, you know having Ramiro in form, having Duncan uh, playing well lately, and, and Luis Muriel? It, it, they're really making it difficult for you to to make your, your lineup uh, sheet out every game. I mean, what is it like for you as a coach to have kind of everybody sort of clicking at the same time? I think it's, a, it's the best that we can have at this moment is that the boys are performing well, that we have those options in the line, that the boys that are starting are doing a great job and they're competing among themselves. Uh, nothing but good news is for the coach, uh, knowing that you have those many players that can start it and can be uh, taking uh, care of the team. So they know that I'm very transparent and responsible for the decisions uh, in this club, the people who work, uh, the people who is responsible, the people who run and work well normally play. And uh, they have the responsibility to perform. That makes us all better. That definitely just makes us all better. But everybody grows. We'll go back to Mike. Oscar, I'm, I'm kind of curious. Obviously, there's there's three regular season games left to the season. Yes, the team has made the playoffs. What what what? How do you kind of keep your players focused right now for these last three games? And obviously to, to make sure, obviously not to get too distracted, you made the playoffs, but to finish the regular season in good form to go into the playoffs. Uh, at this point, uh, we're chief and uh, we already got this uh, um, qualification for the playoffs. Uh, the boys were talking in, inside the locker room that uh, tomorrow we will be thinking on sustaining that position in the fourth. Uh, the next game is Wednesday. Uh, we have to refocus and try to win at home. We still have uh, three games that are not an easy games, and uh, we want to add the most points we can and qualify the highest position we can. So I would say that it's like a, we have done in this uh, journey during this year. It's just one game at a time. Now we're happy. We have to enjoy that achievement, but tomorrow... Uh, surely we'll be focused on just thinking on Philadelphia. Anything else for Oscar? All right, we'll wrap up there, Oscar. Congratulations again. We'll see you soon.
Oh, thank you.